everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial we'll be seeing how to use graduated symbology in QGIS for representing the polygon line and point data so here first we'll be beginning with the boundary that is polygon file let me open the attribute and show you what information is present inside it you can see that there are four zones are available over here and you can see the four zones name and you can find the population of the zones so we are going to represent the population of the zone in a graduated color so the graduated symbology the symbology that changes with response to the numeric value so the numeric values uh, will be giving some colors to the numeric values for example if you take the example of a population if there is an dense population the color will be darker if the population is low the color will be the shade will be uh, the color will be uh, very light so let me show you that example with this boundary now just right click on this uh, boundary layer and go to the option properties on the top you can find the option symbology so you can also find single symbology that we have covered and we have covered the categorized symbology now we are going to talk about the graduated so now select the option graduated and here we need to pick up and value so here value is important in order to display the data so we are going to use a symbology for this so I am going to go with simple black and click OK after that you can see that a color ramp has been given so here you can uh, choose the color ramps if you don't find the color ramps it is not enough for you you can go uh, to the option all color ramps here you can find a lot of uh, color ramps are available so here we are going to pick up a color ramp for example you can see at the top so I have picked this color ramp so here we will be representing the population for example the darker color represents dense population so it goes, goes on decreasing when the population is low it has been uh, represented by the light color so in between the colors will be uh, in a medium shade so after picking up the color ramp or selecting the color color scheme here you can find the option equal quarantine quantile equal interval logarithmic scale natural breaks pretty breaks and standard deviation so here we are going to use the equal equal interval in equal and equal interval the data distribution is the data distribution is equal as you can see over here so the range is around 2500 you can see the difference 7500 to 10,000 10,000 to 12,500 likewise the range is 2500 that is uh, the class interval is 2500 so likewise you can do for uh, natural breaks so natural break is useful in it is good for mapping data values that are not evenly distributed natural breaks and if you come to the quarantine so it creates the classes at the same size so that is the benefit of this quarantine quantile sorry quantile and uh, standard deviation which is uh, which calculates the mean of the data and creates classes based on the standard deviation standard deviation from the mean so you can see here let me apply it and click ok now you can see here the population you can see in this region the population is low this is a uh, moderate and this is high population so we have represent the population using the graduated symbology now we just move on to the road example over here so for example if you take this road let me open the attribute and show you so you can see here you can see the road names and the passengers 
daily passengers traveling this uh, traveling by this routes so how to represent this uh, using the uh, graduated symbol or symbology so once again right click on this layer and go to the option properties here once again under symbology we are going to choose graduated and uh, in graduated we are going to pick up and value here the value will be passenger the amount of passenger traveled on this road and uh, let us uh, pick up a color scheme for this so let me pick up this color and if you want you can just invert this color by selecting this option invert color ramp you just have to click here now let us click on the option classify so you can see here it has been classed into five groups if you want you can increase the classes or if you want you can decrease the classes likewise you can do so now i am going to apply it and click okay now let me remove the population data and you can see that it has been uh, oppositely represented so let me first uh, invert the colors now apply okay now you can see here so the black color represents higher number of passengers traveling on the road the right color represents the lower population traveling in that road you can see here you can see here so you can see the in between values if we can uh, represent the line data like this there is another method for representing the line data too once again right click on this and go to the option properties here instead of uh, color we can pick up size and you can see here the size is been given accordingly for example this is having an higher size you can see the legend size is varying now let me apply it and show you so and let me remove the background layer too so you can see here the road with the higher passenger it is a uh, thick the ro road with the moderate passenger is uh, you can see here it is a uh, much smaller than the higher value you can see it has been going on reducing you can see the small roads over here so where the population uh, sorry where the passengers numbers are very very less so that is represented by this symbology so likewise you can symbol use the graduated symbology now finally we just uh, use see how to use for the point data so here you can see the point data so this point data represents the location of a town and uh, for each town let me show you for each town the population distribution i am having the population distribution for the each town as you can see here population and you can see the location name of the town now let me close it and move on click on the option properties here we are going to once again select the, the graduated and after selecting the graduated color we are going to pick up a value so here our value will be population you can see the symbology if you want you can change the symbology here i am using two symbol if you want you can keep it otherwise you can remove it so that i have shown you in the previous video how to do that so let me have this as a symbol and in method i am going to pick up the size you can see here size from 1 to 8 if you want you can increase the size or decrease the size now hit on the button classify so you can see here it has been classified successfully and for example if you want to remove any field you can remove it by pressing this option so here i am going to give equal interval 
you can see the equal interval our class range is 2900 that is our class range you can also use uh, natural bakes based on your need on based on your data distribution this is standard deviation the amount of uh, the values which is deviating from the mean so now let me select the equal interval after selecting the equal interval for example if i want to increase the size from so i want it from 2.4 to let me take 10 now apply and give okay so you can see here the point which is having a larger population sorry the town which is having a larger population will be re represented in a bigger point and the town which is having lesser population will be in a will be uh, shown in a or represented in a small point so for larger population will be represented by a larger point small population will be represented in a smaller point so same thing for the line as well so the passengers traveling the higher the passengers traveling it has been represent with the thick line and the lesser population which is uh, represent by much smaller line as you can see here much smaller line so you can uh, categorize your data using the graduated colors here the value is important so if you have any doubts in this video please to ask in the comment section i'll be answering to your questions thanks for watching terra special please do subscribe the channel